Today, we will meditate on one of the most beloved passages in Scripture, Psalm 23. These words carry a promise of deep comfort, peace, and unwavering guidance. As you listen, let the richness of this psalm wash over your heart, quieting your mind and soul. Together, we will walk through the promises of our Shepherd, resting in His presence, trusting in His care. Take a deep breath and allow the truth of God's Word to fill the spaces of your being. Let's begin by reflecting on the first truth from Psalm 23, the importance of God's guidance. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Here, we are reminded that God is not distant or uncaring. He is our shepherd, a constant guide, protector, and provider. To have a shepherd means we are not left to wander alone. He leads us, he watches over us, and he knows what we need. Imagine for a moment the comfort of being guided by someone who knows the path ahead, who understands the dangers, the detours, and the best way forward. With God as our shepherd, we can walk confidently, knowing that we are never without his care. When we stay close to Him, remaining in prayer and abiding in faith, we find that our deepest needs are met, not always in the way we expect, but always in the way we need. Take a moment to ask yourself, where in my life do I need to surrender to God's guidance? What areas am I trying to control that I need to release into His hands? He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Picture these images, green pastures, still waters. These are symbols of peace, of rest, and of God's abundant provision. They remind us that God doesn't only lead us in the busy, the stressful, or the challenging times. He leads us into rest. In His presence, we find refreshment for our soul. No matter how weary we are from life's burdens, God invites us to come to Him and be renewed. He is not only concerned with our physical well-being, but also the health of our inner being, our soul. Right now, I encourage you to think about where God might be calling you to rest, to slow down, and to receive His peace. Is there an area of your life where you are striving but God is calling you to stillness? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Life is full of valleys, seasons of hardship, darkness, and uncertainty. Yet, in these moments, Psalm 23 offers us a beautiful assurance. We are never alone. Even in the darkest times, God is there, walking with us. We may feel surrounded by shadows, but God's light remains our guide. His rod protects us from harm, and His staff gently guides us back when we stray. This is a promise that we can hold on to, no matter how difficult life becomes. Fear has no place when we are wrapped in the loving presence of our Shepherd. As you reflect on this, ask yourself, what fears am I holding on to that God wants to release? Where do I need to remind myself that God is with me, even in the valley? We then come to a moment of powerful promise in the psalm, a declaration of divine protection. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Even in the presence of threats, dangers, and enemies, God shows His favor. He prepares a table, a place of abundance, nourishment, and safety. He anoints us, setting us apart and reminding us that we are His chosen ones. No enemy, no challenge, no hardship can take away the protection and blessing that God has placed over our lives. His anointing is a sign of His favor and His provision. 
even when the circumstances around us seem hostile. As you sit with this truth, ask yourself, where is God preparing a table for me, even in the midst of struggle? How is he inviting me to trust in his protection despite the challenges I face? Now, we move into the heart of the psalm, which calls us to rest in the power of trust and thanksgiving. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God's goodness and mercy are not fleeting. Pursue us. They follow us every day of our lives, reminding us that we are never outside the reach of His love. When we trust in His goodness and respond with thanksgiving, our hearts are transformed. No matter the circumstance, we can give thanks, knowing that God's promises are sure. He will never leave us, and His goodness is ever-present. Reflect now. How can I cultivate more gratitude in my daily life? How can I learn to trust in God's goodness, even when life feels uncertain? As we conclude, the psalm leaves us with an invitation, a psalm, call to dwell in God's presence. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is more than just a promise of eternity. It is a call to abide in God's presence here and now. To dwell in His house is to live in close relationship with Him, to walk in daily communion with our Shepherd. It's an invitation to let our lives be marked by His peace, His provision, and His presence. As we end this time of reflection, take a moment to respond in prayer. Lord, I want to dwell in Your presence. Help me to stay close to You, trusting in Your care, and living in the peace that only you can provide. Heavenly Father, as we come before you today, we quiet our hearts and minds, resting in your presence. We thank you for being our shepherd, guiding us through every season of life. Just as you led David beside still waters, we ask you now to bring your peace into this moment, into our hearts and into our lives. Lord, you are our protector. You are the one who watches over us, shielding us from harm and danger. Just as a shepherd guards his flock, you guard us with your love and care. We trust in your rod and your staff. They comfort us. Even in the darkest valleys, we will not fear, for you are with us. Your presence is our refuge. Your peace is our shield. Let your angels surround us keeping us safe from all harm. In moments of uncertainty and doubt, remind us that we are never alone. You are always with us, watching, guiding, and protecting. Father, you lead us beside still waters. You make us lie down in green pastures. In your presence, we find rest. Today, we ask for your peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding, in the midst of life's storms, calm our hearts. Still the worries in our minds and quiet the anxieties that seek to overwhelm us. Your peace is a gift and we receive it now. We release our burdens to you, trusting that you hold everything in your hands. As we walk through each moment, may we carry your peace within us, knowing that you are in control. Lord, you are the restorer of our souls. You bring healing where there is brokenness, wholeness where there is pain. We come before you now, asking for your healing touch. Heal our bodies from sickness, heal our minds from worry, and heal our hearts from fear and doubt. Restore our souls, Lord. Where we feel weary, renew our strength. Where we feel weak, let your power sustain us. We believe in your ability to heal, and we trust in your timing, knowing that you work all things for our good. Father, we declare our faith in you. You are our shepherd, and we lack nothing. Even when life feels overwhelming, 
we choose to trust in your plan. Guide us, Lord, in every step we take. Increase our faith and help us to see beyond the temporary trials to the everlasting promises you have given us. We trust in your goodness and mercy, knowing that they will follow us all the days of our lives. As we dwell in your presence, may our faith be unshakable, rooted deeply in your love. Lord, we thank you for your protection, your peace, your healing, and your faithfulness. As we walk through this day, may your presence guide us, your peace surround us, your healing restore us, and your love sustain us. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 23 is a reminder that God is our shepherd, our protector, and our provider. As we go through life, through its valleys and green pastures, we can rest in the assurance that He is always with us, guiding us, protecting us, and blessing us with His goodness and mercy. Thank you for joining me in this meditation. May you walk in the peace of your shepherd today and always.